Number 13 is having you solve a system of nonlinear equations. Now in the lecture we talked about that you can solve this both ways. You can either do it by substitution or elimination. For this problem, I'm going to go ahead and show you both ways because this type of problem is actually one you can do either way. But there's certain problems that will work easier with substitution. There's other problems that will work better with the elimination or addition method. And so I'm going to show you both on this one and you can choose which one uh, you feel is best for a problem like this. Uh, and then when we do the next problem, next example, it'll be one where it's probably better to do it by elimination. But this one, we can do it both ways, so let's go ahead and show that. First, I'm going to do the substitution method. So I'll do the whole problem with this, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to do it with elimination. So let's do substitution. Substitution, we're going to start with first because they already have one of the variables solved for us. It already says y equals x squared minus 1. So we can just take that and put it into the top equation. So I'm going to do x squared plus x squared minus 1 squared equals 1. So since the y was already isolated, we just simply put that into the first equation. And it'll look like that. So now, since we've eliminated one of the variables, we only have x's that are left over. So now I can uh, continue this to solve for this. So I'm going to do x squared plus. All right, now that one I have to do x squared minus 1 times x squared minus 1. So it really means you're doing two, uh, two of these together. So you're, you're going to be doing this process here. Don't square that one and square that one and, and just get that as your answer. Make sure you go through this process by foiling it because otherwise if you just square the, these two, you're going to miss the middle term and you're not going to get it right. So make sure you, you do the full uh, work. So x squared and x squared is x to the fourth. And I have a minus x squared and a minus x squared. They don't cancel. They add up to negative 2, negative 2 x squared. The negative none, negative 1 gives you plus 1. So make sure you remember to do that so you do that properly and you get the middle term there. Uh, we still have equals 1 on the other side. So now we have to solve this for x. So we're going to, what we can do here is we can cancel out the 1s and we can add like terms together. So I have x to the fourth. I have a 1x squared minus 2x squared will give me a minus 1x squared. And then everything else is going to cancel because we can subtract the 1s from both sides and we get a 0. So we'll end up with that. x to the 4th minus x squared equals 0. We're going to take out a common factor of x squared. And you'll get x squared minus 1 left over. And we're going to take both of those individually, set them equal to uh, 0. So we get x squared equals 0 x squared minus 1 equals 0. If we square root both sides, we're going to get x is equal to 0 here. Now this one, with x squared minus 1, we're going to get two answers. Don't forget, you get plus or minus there. If you uh, add 1 to both sides and take the square root, you're going to get two answers. So you really get 0, 1, and negative 1 for your answers there. Now that we have that complete, we need to figure out what the y values are. Now because they already give you this one, we can put the, the values for x into here. Because we have three of them, we have to show it three different ways. So first I'm going to do x is equal to 0. So we're going to do 0 squared minus 1 uh, equals negative 1, which means that when x is 0, I get y is equal to negative 1. Let me just show you a colon like that. It's probably going to be better. Uh, next, let's try x is equal to 1. y equals 1 squared minus 1, and I'll get 0. Uh, so that basically I end up with that. So when x is 1, I get y is 0. And then I have x is equal to negative 1. y squared equals negative 1 squared minus 1. So y equals. Uh, when I do that, I get a, a 0 again. So I get y is equal to 0. So I have my x is 0, x is 1, negative 1, and I have the corresponding y values. So the question is, okay, now that I have all those, how do I write my answers? Okay, so let me show you that over here uh, with these. There's, If you notice, there's three blanks there on the sample test, and the actual test will have the correct number of blanks for how many solutions you should have, and you're going to put an ordered pair on each of those. So you're going to put a coordinate or a point on each one. The first one we're going to put is 0, negative 1 from this one. 
and then we have a 1, 0, and then I have negative 1, 0. And so that's what I would put for my answer. I'm going to put them all one on each line, uh, just like this. So I should have three different points, and that's going to be the answer to uh, this problem. So that was all doing the substitution techniques. Now uh, I'm going to go through and show you now the elimination. And so uh, hopefully I have all this down. I'm going to erase all this, and we'll start. We'll do the problem over again, but this time we're going to do it by elimination. Okay, so we'll do. Elimination, or it's also called the addition method. Now, elimination means that we're going to multiply one equation or both equations by something, add them together, and cancel something out. Now, in order to do that, you have to make sure the ordering is uh, correct here. So, I want to switch the order of the, the 1 and the y. And so, the first equation I'm not going to do anything with. I'm just going to leave it as setting it up like that one. So I want to make sure all the x's, y's, and numbers all line up together. So I'll leave that one alone. But now this one, I'm going to rewrite it like this. So I'm going to do x squared minus y equals 1. How did I get this one? I just took this equation, I subtracted y from both sides, and I added 1 to both sides and made sure I have everything all lined up underneath each other, and I have this. Now typically, for these kind of problems, what I would do is I can... I can uh, you know, add the two equations together um, or, or subtract. I can do either one of those. But you have to make sure you cancel out one of the variables. Now be careful here. I do have opposite signs, but these are not going to cancel out when I add the equations together because I have a, a y to the first power. I don't have a square. But what I'll do instead is I'm going to multiply one of the equations by a negative 1 and then add them together. Or I could just also subtract the equations as well and get the x squares to cancel out. But let me go ahead and multiply one of these. I'm going to multiply this one, both sides, by negative 1. So that way I get x squared plus y squared equals 1. And I get negative x squared plus y equals negative 1. And then I'm just going to add the two equations together. So I multiplied the bottom one by a negative. I'm going to add the equations together. I get the x squares to cancel out. But these two. When I add them together, I'm just going to get y squared plus y. These are not like terms, so I have to just leave it like that, y squared plus y. Over here, I get a 0, 1 minus 1. So now, I'm going to take y squared plus y and set it equal to 0, and that means i got to take out a common factor, which is going to be a y. And then when I set both of them equal to 0, I get y is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 1. Now those are the y values, but I still have to find the corresponding x values. I can use either one of those two equations when I put that back in. Let's just use the, the bottom equation. It's going to be easier. So first we're going to do y equals 0. We're going to put that into here. So I get uh, 0 for y. So let me put that in there. I get 0 equals x squared minus 1. And we already talked about if you set 0 equal to x squared minus 1, if you add the 1 to both sides and then square root both sides, you'll get x is equal to uh, plus or minus 1. So when y is 0, we get x is 1 and x is negative 1. Now the other one we're going to do is when the y value equals negative 1. So I have negative 1 equals x squared minus 1. Again, still using the same formula here put negative 1 in for that. We're going to add 1 to both sides and we end up with a 0 for x squared or we'll get x is equal to 0. The way you would write these is the same as we talked about before. Just make sure you put x values first. So this one there's only going to be one point. We get x is 0 and y is negative 1. So I would put 0, negative 1 there for one of my answers. For this, remember the x values come first. So I get 1 comma 0, and I have negative 1 comma 0. So I have 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and again, that's how you would write your answer. So no matter how you solve it by either substitution or elimination, you should end up with exactly the same answer. You should get three points of intersection for this one.